Concerns tonight about fire codes and fire safety for the hearing impaired. A hearing impaired woman was hurt yesterday in a fire in Shawnee. Cynthia Newsom joins us from the newsroom now with the story. Hi, Cynthia. Well, six residents at the Valencia Hills apartments are hearing impaired, but their apartments did not have special smoke detectors with flashing lights and buzzers. And fire officials tell us city and state fire code does not require special smoke detectors for the hearing impaired. And that fact could have slowed down yesterday's evacuation at West 65th and Blue Jacket. The fire investigators say the fire started in an electrical appliance. Several people heard the smoke detectors and helped their deaf neighbors out of the burning building. But not before nine people, including one hearing impaired girl, were injured. All of the victims were treated and released. Fire officials, though, say it's time to update fire codes before someone is seriously hurt. In public buildings, when a fire alarm goes off, you can both hear it and see it. And that addresses both hearing impaired, deaf, and, and the general public. Well, if you go into an apartment complex, you're going to see that same thing in all those common areas. It doesn't extend into every single living unit. If you need a smoke alarm for the hearing impaired, uh, Fire Chief Maddox recommends checking with your local fire department or asking your landlord or apartment manager to install one. A special alarms for the hearing impaired do not take batteries. They must be hardwired by an electrician. Cynthia Newsom, NBC Action News.